A lot of people are afraid of space aliens, and the common belief is that there are terrifying objects in space. These claims are, however, a bit ridiculous, and the truth is that you can find things that will frighten the living daylights out of you right here on Earth, so there's no need to imagine flying saucers in the night sky. The most recent alarming discovery made by researchers at Yellowstone National Park serves as one prominent example. You may be wondering what is this discovery and how it affects you, especially if you don't even live near the park. You may be shocked to find out. So join us as we explore the horrifying discovery made by experts in Yellowstone National Park. The American National Park, known as Yellowstone National Park, is situated in the western part of the country, primarily in Wyoming's northwest corner and spreading into Montana and Idaho. Yellowstone was the first national park in the United States, and because Americans believe they're the first at everything, it's widely regarded as the first national park in the world. It was created by the 42nd U.S. Congress with the Yellowstone National Park Protection Act and signed into law by President Ulysses S. Grant on March 1, 1876. The subalpine forest is part of the South Central Rockies forest ecoregion and covers the most ground in the park while supporting a wide array of wildlife. The park is located on a huge supervolcano with enough magma in its reservoir to devastate the entire continent if it erupts. However, scientists do not anticipate an eruption for several thousand years. There are many attractions in the park, including incredible wildlife and topography like the Old Faithful Giza, one of the park's most well-known geothermal phenomena. The Old Faithful Giza got its name from the regularity with which it erupts, shooting tall columns of water into the air every 35 to 120 minutes on average every 92 minutes. There are over 10,000 other geysers, which is nearly half the geysers on the globe found in the park. It's no wonder that the government has singled out Yellowstone for special attention due to its significance. However, many of the geysers are so accurate that swimming in them would be like swimming in battery acid. They have been the cause of quite a few tragedies. Still, this hasn't prevented the park from having about 4 million visitors in 2020, a global pandemic year. The park received the most tourists of all the US national parks, as visitors are often lured to this best-preserved temperate zone ecosystem. Whilst thousands of visitors continue to visit Yellowstone National Park every year, if they knew what scientists have discovered in recent tests, this may soon change. Many people have often wondered, where does all the hot water come from when visiting the park? Well, beautiful underwater images from a recent study was published in Nature magazine, which answers this. Images from the study demonstrate how the geology of the park significantly influences its hot springs. The main hot spring fields in the park are reached by hot hydrothermal fluids ascending nearly vertically from depths of more than 1 km or 0.62 miles. The volcanic lava flows of the park, which are also visible in the photos, mix with the hydrothermal water as they travel along with shallower groundwater moving beneath them. The hydrothermal waters ascend under the guidance of faults and fractures, and matic hydrothermal features are governed by lava flow boundaries. The chemistry and temperature of mud ponds and springs, the duration between eruptions of geysers, and the special thermophilic bacteria that dwell in and around those features are just a few of the fascinating things to learn about the park's surface hydrothermal phenomena. Yellowstone also provides a glimpse into the strong forces at work beneath the Earth's surface, forces that also sculpted this park's stunning and dramatic landscapes. Slithering rivers, broad green valleys, canyons, roaring waterfalls, and moonlike landscapes are all part of the panorama. The Black Sand Basin, one of the park's most colorful locations, is not far from Old Fateful. People also enjoy visiting the breathtaking Grand Canyon and the Upper and Lower Falls, as well as hiking on the Mount Washburn Trail. And according to the park's official history, Local tribes used the hydrothermal waters for hundreds of years before Europeans came in the 19th century for religious and practical purposes. The Tukudika tribe dipped sheep horns into the springs to make them flexible and suitable for bows, while the Kiora tribe believed their creator bestowed upon them the Yellowstone region as their home. It's natural to enjoy the after-effects of volcanic activity that has shaped Yellowstone National Park. But 
many Yellowstone tourists may be unaware of just how much impact volcanic activity in the park has had on everything on Earth. The story of the Yellowstone volcanic system begins about 66 million years ago, at the beginning of the Cenozoic era, when widespread volcanic eruptions form mountains and shape the region that the park today calls home. But even now, we can still hear rumblings under our feet. The larger Yellowstone region contains magma or molten rock that is found underneath the Earth's crust. As a result, magma plumes ascend through the mantle melting rocks in the crust and producing partially molten, partially solid rock reservoirs. In a weird incident that happened recently, a shoe with a portion of a foot still inside was discovered in one of Yellowstone National Park's hot springs. The shoe and the foot were discovered in the West Thumb Giza Basin, according to officials, and after the foot near the abyss pool was found, the West Thumb Giza Basin area was closed. In 2021, Dr. Karen Raj took to TikTok to explain why human feet keep turning up on the beaches of the Pacific Northwest. He said that scavenger creatures live in water bodies and that they hunt for the softer body parts in the oceans. One of those is a ligament in the ankle, and modern sneakers contain buoyancy, which helps them stay afloat. With ankles gnawed off by scavengers, feet are left to float inside sneakers, which is why people occasionally see the shoes with the feet inside. But how did these people die in the first place? The Abyss Pool is the deepest spot in the park, with a depth of 53 feet, according to the official website of Yellowstone National Park. A notice urging visitors to the pool to exercise caution and stick to authorized pathways and boardwalks can be seen on the Yellowstone National Park website. The Yellowstone National Park website also reminds visitors to act and think safely because the park is dangerous and visitors are responsible for their own safety. Over 20 people have died after falling into the hot springs in Yellowstone National Park, and most of these fatal falls were a result of severe burns. The location was briefly off-limits to visitors, but it's now open again. One of Yellowstone's main draws, its geothermal features, is safe to explore as long as hikers stay on the established paths and boardwalks. Sadly, there are times when the urge to get closer is too high, whether it be for a photo opportunity or a swim, which has proven to have disastrous results. There have been multiple deaths reported at the Yellowstone National Park, and the first is believed to be a member of the Washburn Langford Doan Expedition, a team of explorers who catalogued the park and gave the Cone Geyser in the Upper Basin the nickname Old Faithful in 1870. Others included James Joseph Stumbo, a seven-year-old from Montana who died in a hot spring while visiting the park in 1890. Unfortunately, a lot of children end up getting hurt in hot spring mishaps. Recently, a 13-year-old who fell into a thermal pool was burned and barely survived. Others, like Watt Cressy, a park employee, have also lost their lives by accident. Cressy was headed to a late-night hot potting party with other park employees in 1975, but unintentionally jumped into a pool that was 179 degrees Celsius hot. Some accident victims at Yellowstone have also been very lucky, such as a couple of tourists who've gone off to take pictures right on the brink of the Grand Prismatic, a pool famous for the rainbow hues produced by bacteria that thrive in warm, humid conditions. Despite nearly falling through into the scalding groundwater, the tourists managed to escape unharmed. In total, more than 20 people have passed away at the park's hot springs and swimming areas over the past year alone, including at least one whose body was dissolved. What do you think about the controversies surrounding Yellowstone National Park? Do the fatalities make you more interested in seeing what the park and its geezers are all about? Let us know your thoughts in the comments.